They said it couldn't be done, that Boeing and Airbus would rule the skies forever. But just when the world thought the aviation hierarchy was unshakable, one nation quietly made a move that could rewrite the entire story. Which nation just chose China's Comac C929 over Boeing's 787? The answer is more dramatic than you think, and it says everything about how the balance of power in global aviation is starting to tilt. Let's dive right in. For more than half a century, wide-body aircraft have been the pride of the aviation industry. They are the workhorses of globalization, connecting continents, carrying millions, and defining the ambitions of entire nations. But until now, there have been only two names dominating that space, Boeing of the United States and Airbus of Europe. Every long-haul flight you've ever taken likely depended on one of these two giants. Then came Comac, China's ambitious state-owned aircraft manufacturer, which already turned heads with the smaller C919. That jet made its commercial debut in 2023 and began flying under China Eastern Airlines, marking China's serious entry into the passenger jet market. But that was just the opening act. The main event, the one shaking headlines today, is the C929, a large twin aisle, long range wide body jet designed to go head to head with Boeing's 787 Dreamliner and Airbus's A350. It's the plane China hopes will put it on the same stage as the world's biggest aviation powers. And now the world finally knows who's first in line to fly it. On November 11, 2024, Comac announced that Air China, the nation's flagship carrier, would become the official launch customer of the C929. Yes, you heard that right. China's own national airline is choosing its homegrown wide body jet over Boeing's 787. It's not just an order, it's a declaration, a signal to the world that China is no longer content just buying aircraft. It's ready to build and fly them at the same level. This moment is more than corporate news, it's a piece of history. For decades, every Chinese long-haul carrier relied almost entirely on Western jets. Boeing's 777 and 787 fleets filled Chinese skies, symbolizing both progress and dependence. But this announcement changes that story. Air China's commitment marks a turning point, one that intertwines economics, technology, and national identity. The C929, still in its advanced design phase, promises to seat around 280 to 320 passengers and travel distances of 12,000 kilometers or more, the same class as the 787 Dreamliner. Its development is part of Beijing's long-term vision to make China self-reliant in key industries. But here's the part that's fascinating. This project almost didn't happen. Originally, the C929, once called the CR929, was a joint venture between China's COMAC and Russia's United Aircraft Corporation. The plan was simple, combine Russia's engineering experience with China's industrial power to produce a new competitor to Boeing and Airbus. However, after years of geopolitical strain, technology disagreements, and shifting priorities, Russia withdrew its partnership. Instead of collapsing, COMAC doubled down, redesigning the program independently and renaming it the C929. Many analysts doubted China could push through alone. And yet, not only did it persist, it secured a flagship airline as the launch customer before even completing prototype rollout. That's bold. That's historic. But why would Air China commit to a jet that hasn't flown yet, when the Boeing 787 is already a proven success? The answer comes down to strategy, economics, and vision. First, economic logic. Purchasing Western jets involves huge foreign currency expenditures and dependency on overseas technology and supply chains. By supporting COMAC, China keeps billions of dollars circulating domestically, strengthens its manufacturing ecosystem, and supports thousands of local aerospace jobs. Second, political alignment. China's government has long identified aerospace as a pillar of national strength, on the same level as space exploration and defense technology. Choosing the C929 over foreign models sends a message of confidence, pride, and independence. Third, future leverage. If the C929 succeeds, China gains not only a domestic advantage, but an export weapon, a commercial jet it can sell across Asia, Africa, the Middle East, and potentially Europe. 
Imagine airlines across developing nations choosing a lower-cost, high-tech wide body backed by China's financing networks. That's influence Boeing and Airbus have every reason to fear. Now let's talk about what this means for Boeing. The 787 Dreamliner remains one of Boeing's crown jewels. Lightweight composites, advanced engines, and incredible fuel efficiency. But Boeing's recent years haven't been easy. Delays, production issues, and safety controversies have shaken its reputation. Meanwhile, China, one of Boeing's biggest customer markets, has been slowly pivoting. As diplomatic tension grows between Beijing and Washington, Aircraft orders have become geopolitical chess pieces. So when Air China made this move, it wasn't just about aviation. It was about sovereignty. About saying, we can build what you can build. And maybe, someday, we'll sell it to the world. That's the subtext behind the headline. Of course, challenges remain. The C-929 is still years away from its first flight let alone certification for global operations. To compete head-to-head -head with Boeing and Airbus, it must meet international safety and efficiency standards. Right now, the goal is for final assembly to begin near the end of the decade, with test flights targeted in the early 2030s. COMAC aims for the C-929 to enter commercial service around 2035. That sounds far off, but remember, in aviation terms, that's just around the corner. Aircraft development is a marathon, not a sprint, and China has shown remarkable patience in getting this far. So, what happens next? Three things to watch. One, certification. Will COMAC manage to secure approval from international regulators like the EASA or the FAA? Without it, the aircraft remains confined to domestic and allied markets. 2. Supply chain Will COMAC maintain access to high-grade materials, avionics, and engines, many of which are currently sourced from Western suppliers? The global tech landscape is tense, and sanctions could become roadblocks. 3. Global trust Will other airlines outside China be willing to place orders once the C-929 proves itself in the skies? Trust takes time. But once achieved, it can redefine markets. If COMAC overcomes these, the aviation industry will never look the same again. Let's pause for perspective. For decades, China has relied heavily on Boeing's wide-body fleet. The 787 in particular became a cornerstone of Chinese international travel, connecting Beijing to London, Shanghai to Los Angeles, Chengdu to Paris. Now imagine those routes flown on a fully domestic aircraft, powered by local manufacturing, local engineering, and local pride. That's the dream the C-929 represents. It's not just metal, engines, and wings. It's a symbol of transformation. Some industry watchers argue that this is China's long-term play to create a third pillar of global aircraft manufacturing, joining Boeing and Airbus as equals. And make no mistake, both Western manufacturers are paying close attention. Because the last time a newcomer tried to challenge them, it took decades to reach certification and gain orders. But China's situation is different. With massive state funding, domestic market demand, and strategic patience, COMAC doesn't need immediate global sales to survive. It just needs time and homegrown loyalty. Air China's order guarantees both. So, when we ask, which nation just chose the C-929 over the 787? The answer is crystal clear, China itself. Through its national carrier, through its government, through its aerospace vision. It's the story of a country betting on its own wings. And here's the real twist. This isn't just China buying Chinese. It's China signaling that it's ready to compete globally. When that first C-929 takes off, it won't just represent a new aircraft. It'll represent a new era. Let's fast forward mentally. Picture the aviation map 10 years from now. Will Ethiopian Airlines, Turkish Airlines, or even Middle Eastern carriers 
add the C929 to their fleet options? Will nations in Africa or Southeast Asia look to China for aircraft financing deals bundled with infrastructure investments? It's not far-fetched. China's Belt and Road Initiative already connects these same regions. If COMAC links that economic network to aviation, Boeing and Airbus will face their first true competitor in decades. And that's why Air China's decision matters far beyond Beijing. The C-929 could become the flagship of China's industrial ambition, the way the 787 once was for America's. And just like Boeing's Dreamliner reshaped global aviation with composite materials and fuel efficiency, COMAX C-929 represents a new dream. One rooted in sovereignty, resilience, and the will to innovate. Yes, it's a bold claim. Yes, the challenges ahead are enormous. But if history has taught us anything, it's that every aviation revolution begins with someone daring to believe they can do it better. So, here we are. A single announcement. One nation. One airline. One aircraft. But a world of implications. This is more than a purchase. It's a statement. China is not just flying passengers anymore. It's flying the flag of its own industrial might. And for Boeing, this is a wake-up call. Because while the Dreamliner may still dominate today, there's a new dream forming on the horizon. One built in Shanghai, assembled in China, and powered by ambition. If you've made it this far, you've just witnessed the start of what could become aviation's biggest rivalry of the century. Not Boeing versus Airbus, but Boeing versus Comac. The battle for the skies has a new player, and the first move has already been made. Now your turn. Would you fly on China's C-929 when it finally takes off? Do you think it can challenge the 787's reputation for efficiency and comfort? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I read everyone. And if you love deep dives into aviation, geopolitics, and the stories shaping our skies, hit subscribe, give this video a like, and share it with someone who needs to know what's really happening above the clouds. Because the future of flight isn't just about where we're going, it's about who's building the wings to get us there.